Inside. Come on, it'll be fine. Come on. He's coming right now. Okay, let's go to the backyard. Let's go to the backyard. Come on, this way. Come on. Come on. Just go. I'm not. Come on, you're fine. He's telling you to walk into a house full of spiders or something. Spiders? I like spiders. Come on. It'd be fine. Come face your fears. You act like I'm just gonna be like, okay, yeah, let me go walk into a face of a clown. There's no clowns. Where's the clown? Are there any clowns in here? I don't see any clowns. Are you coming? Come on. an old man there's just an old man here she took off yeah i feel bad now man she's gonna hate me forever she's gonna hate you yeah she's gone i might have to go pick her up in the next town i just really pissed off tiffany she's gone she like took off she's like i'm not coming back there well tiffany i figured to help her with her fear of clowns you know my my boy roland he does this clown series every once in a while on his yeah. channel and it was my idea i'll take i'll take the take the blame but yesterday he he pranked her it was off camera and like he just showed up like on the window while we were, we were eating like dinner or something and she like freaked out she it was hilarious i was like damn he didn't film it it would have been great uh, yeah. like the reaction was so funny but i mean yeah probably gonna be told off later for sure oh boy i'll let her walk it off it's your fault it's your fault mr roland oh i was like i don't want to do it I don't want to do it. So she came up a little sooner than expected because we had cameras set up in the house and he was trying to put his GoPro. Now these alligators, they need a lot of shade. If not, they'll, they'll get burned because they have uh, no pigmentation. Uh, but you don't in there, Roland. She caught him like trying to set up a GoPro and she's like, what's going on? And then she went off. She was outside. That's why she would come back in. Mr. Clown guy. Oh, man. Yeah. <laughs> That's scary. I feel bad. She's going to hate me. That's okay. You did good. <laughs> <laughs> that old man mask is pretty creepy though too. Yeah, it is. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Tiffany got attacked like by a mockingbird. It was swooping at your head. Yes. I, I, every time I ever walked down there, I had to deal with that. Like, I, I hold my like hand up in there, just waiting because I'm thinking like pecking in the eye or something. I was like, not only am I running through this fancy neighborhood from a freaking clown, but now all birds attacking me. <laughs> I was like. 
this neighborhood sucks. <laughs> <laughs> Tiffany's a good sport, okay? Good sport. She's a good sport. No, I was not. I literally didn't like no. <laughs> nope. I was worried she was gonna hate me forever. I was like, I don't wanna do this, I don't wanna do this, I don't wanna do this. I'm not gonna hate you. I was like, I'm just gonna get scared. Here. I was like, I don't know what it's like. Okay, you know what? What's funny is the clown's right behind me now. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I forgot to properly say good morning and hello to you. Welcome to another life movie. I am currently in Virginia. Roland's house is really nice. Like, if you guys want to rent an Airbnb from Roland, like, he doesn't offer it on Airbnb, but he should because it's really nice. And he shares his space with just a couple of ghosts. That's about it. But this is his basement. Like, this basement is as big as my house. Like that, this is a basement. Okay, and look, he has like a theater room over here. Like, this is some MTV crib stuff here. What? Look at the size of that screen. And they even have a little popcorn machine. How cool is that? And this is the control room. He has like an exercise area in there. I know those kind of creepy lights are off. But his house is huge. I mean, and it's clean. Like, it's super clean. Super clean. I mean, because no one's living here. That's how my house would be if I was single and my kids only came occasionally here and there. Uh, you know, my kids are growing up, of course. This is where I slept last night. I'm taking the sheets off because, you know, I did some caca. I'm just kidding, I didn't. But look how nice Roland decorates. Yeah, this is this is nice. Look who we have here. Little V in the house. I gave V a bath a little bit ago. That's why she kind of has some wet feathers. Don't go caca on my suitcase. Please don't go. Yeah, Roland's got a big house, man. This is, this is his kitchen. Family room. I believe that's like a like a formal area. I mean, it's I don't want to spoil it and show you everything. He does do a lot of vlogging here. The upstairs. I mean, it's, it's a whole other house up there too. He's got like five or six bedrooms up there. There's a formal dining. This is like a I don't know an office slash den. I mean, it's it's beautiful. Beautiful. My favorite part of the house though. He even has another staircase. Two staircases. Look at that. Mr. Rowland, you need to downsize. I know. I'm yeah, dying exactly. Florida. What the heck, man? It's too much like I'm gonna get emptiness syndrome. Or I'm starting already. She already has it. Has it. <laughs> but my favorite part about Roland's house mm -hmm. is right over here. Mm -hmm. This is my favorite part of Roland's house. It has the C8 right there, which I showed you in a couple of videos ago. He has a Tessa, just like me, but it's got this really cool dark gray color. It's like they both match. They both have that dark gray. That must be like your favorite color, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. it is. It's, it's, I like it. It has metallic in it. It's elegant. Very yeah. elegant. It just gives it that, you know, it's not too dark. It doesn't hide the contours, especially in Corvette. Yeah. His interior on his Tesla is a little different. It's got the darker interior and it looks, it looks really sharp too. Like I like my white interior, but it does get a little dirty sometimes, especially if you have a little Boston with dirty fingers. We're gonna experience the the bird flying around me. I'm gonna sacrifice myself. Okay, see if see if I get attacked by the mockingbird. I guess Roland's gonna do this. He started just running anyways. It was like right past this, the other side of the tree. <laughs> okay, Roland's gonna sacrifice himself instead. <laughs> Look, there he goes. It just started swooping. He's about to get attacked by a bird. The birds are gonna be like, oh, you think you're a tough guy? Walking through our hood. I wonder if it's gonna happen with all this stuff on there. Oh, look, there it is. It's right there. Oh, okay. He's That's right up the there. mean guy. Look, he's coming down. Look. There goes. <laughs> <laughs> See? Oh, look. Even the, even the neighbor is like, oh, <laughs> <laughs> There's a mean old birdie. You should get out and see it because through this window it's so dirty. It Look, is. he's like, bring it. <laughs> bring it on. I'm waiting. He knows I'm a bird lover. That's what it is. They don't mess with me. They're not messing with me. Oh, there's one right up there. I'm coming towards your nest. Come and get me. I wonder where their nest is. Oh, shit. <laughs> dude, it sloped down on you. <laughs> Oh, it's in your mailbox? Oh, wow. So the nest of 
the bird is in the neighbor's mailbox over here. Let's see if we can see the, the nest. Uh-oh, I'm a target? Okay, I'm coming by the nest. Don't hurt me though. <laughs> oh, it's in there, look. There's a little little nest in there, see that? Okay, I'm walking away. <laughs> look behind you. Whoa. <laughs> Wait, you clickbaited me. That was behind me? Yes. <laughs> oh, look, he went, yo, wow. It went in the mailbox right now. Yes. Oh, <laughs> the bird came out. <laughs> oh, he got attacked. <laughs> oh, That's what he kept doing earlier to me. He just kept swooping down on my head. <laughs> oh, dang, look, he came back down. It's like a mama and dad bird. Yeah, they keep going inside See, there. They just went back there again. Look, they're going down on them again. Oh, dang, they're real close to his head there. Dude, I really thought they were eating my hair earlier. Yeah. So then I was like, well, maybe my hair is just shiny and they were trying to eat it, but I know they were just trying to protect their young. That's what they were doing. So, you know, Tiff and I, we like to take the back roads to our destinations, and that's what we're doing. Well, we came across this like really cool national park. What? A rat? Mm -hmm. Ew! <laughs> it is a rat. Mm -hmm. Where's he going? He's going up to his rat house. His rat house. We should feed him like some potato chips. This is cool. What's the name of this place? Um, it's like Jefferson. The James River Footbridge. James River Footbridge. Pretty cool. Let's walk this way. Can you hear the waterfall? Oh, there is a waterfall. I almost want to fly my drone over there. I had to bring V along. Hi, V. We went hiking yesterday and we brought V with us. V loves going hiking. Oh, cool. Do we get to go over that bridge? Oh, wait. Is that it? Yeah. I have to hold on to V because if V tries to fly off, she'll end up in the that river right there. And she doesn't fly. She just falls with grace. I wonder what the name of that river is. James River? Is that the name of it? I guess so. Whoa. Look at this long, creepy bridge. <laughs> wow, that's awesome. Are those the Blue Ridge Mountains? Um, I think that's where we're kind of yeah, at. I've seen a sign for it. Oh, look, it's like Charlotte's Web. <laughs> I don't know if you can see that, y'all. Hey, look, Ma. There's no spider. Oh, yeah. It's like back in Canada. Got the spider bridge. Oh, there's another really cool one. I want to like fly my drone. Anytime I see water, like big bodies of water like this, you should totally do it. just want to fly my drone over it. Go over there. What a pretty view. I encourage you, if you ever go on road trips, when you enter the address to your destination, there, there's usually like three different options. And one of the options is to like avoid tolls and avoid highways. If it, As long as it doesn't add too much time to your destination, it's definitely a lot, a lot cooler to go off these back roads and just kind of explore the different areas instead of just being stuck on an interstate, not seeing anything cool like this. Pretty creepy right now. Tiff and I were just taking some pictures and the wind started to, it's not even the wind. This whole bridge is moving right now. Oh, that's scary. Come on V, <laughs> we have to go. V has a long life to live. V's just walking with us. Come on V, come on. <laughs> Come on. V is exploring. Come on, baby. Come on. You gonna go poop? Oh, you went poop. Good. Good, Good baby. Come on. Come on. Come on. Let's go. Come on. <laughs> she don't want to go. Come here. Let's go. So I had this fun idea, shared it with Tiffany, and she agreed it would be a pretty good idea. I'm gonna start off with, with doing it as a small video, maybe like for Instagram or Facebook, and maybe I'll share it here on YouTube, but I wanna do a small video of just V ghost hunting. Like, like V will be with me, but it'd be like V is ghost hunting in like one of these haunted locations that we go visit in the next couple of days. So I don't know, let me know in the comments if you think that'd be kinda, kinda cool and fun. Be I fun. Think it'd be a lot of fun. Yeah. 
You agree? Yeah. See? <laughs> she agrees. Whoa, what the heck is this? Dinosaur Kingdom. What's the name of it? Dinosaur Kingdom. Dinosaur Kingdom. Look, there's a Frankenstein on the chicken. Turn oh, right. Franken chicken. Highway. So that was a Franken chicken. Dude, this place is so cool. So they have a website. It's called Dinos Girk Kingdom. Or Dino, I'm sorry, Dinosaur. dinosaur. <laughs> well, because the sign is like, yeah, on the website. We want to go inside here, but I'm not sure if we can bring V along. I suppose we could leave the car on with the AC on and go in there for a little bit. Tiffany's looking it up online. I like like amusement parks like this, like old school amusement parks. Kind of have like a... It's $12. $12. Dude, that, it's so cheap to get into. I bet you it's so retro okay. in there. Whoa, cool. So it's got like a bunch of dinosaur statues and stuff like that. Scroll back up. It looks like them kids are having so much fun. <laughs> <laughs> they're like, I want Disney. I want to go to Disney. <laughs> and then that's the parents' face when they're saying, I want to go to Disney. <laughs> but we paid for here. <laughs> this is only $12. <laughs> and then across the street is the Natural Bridge Zoo. It's like, I think it's the one where you drive through and they come to your car. No way. Mm -hmm. We should totally do that. Like they, a drive through yeah, petting they might, zoo? They might try to eat me. Well, I'll put V in the, in the little travel case. All right, fam, so we are in Tennessee now. I went ahead and fast forward. We had a, a long drive to get where we're at, and we are at a cool little cabin. Look at that. It's like a studio cabin. I haven't been inside yet. I've only seen some pictures, but we're going to stay here for a couple of days while we're investigating. Figure we can have some Tiffany and Omar time beforehand. Uh, Tiffany spraying everything. <laughs> They have the dishwasher. So. Whoa, it smells like really clean in here too. This is adorable. Nice, it's like a, a studio cabin. We could just live here when we're old. We're already old. We're not old. <laughs> Years ago, I have a vlog, it was really cool. We, we were out in the same area like Gatlinburg, Tennessee, that's where we're at right now. My kids were like, they were little and they were so excited. It was, such a fun video too if you I, I think i filmed maybe like two or three videos out there and we stayed in this massive cabin it was like a five or six bedroom cabin in the mountains and the name of the cabin was called life is good my kids are like all grown up now they're not even kids anymore ethan's about to be 18 this year but they still talk about that cabin to this day i'm hoping that maybe i could rent it out like around christmas time or something we could all go what? So it has a notebook of all the people that stayed here. So the people that just checked out this morning, mm -hmm. they stayed here for their honeymoon. For their honeymoon? Yes, really? This is an adorable cabin with such a cute, it was cozy and beautiful. My husband and I could not stop saying how perfect this place was for our honeymoon. We absolutely loved our stay at Lover's Leap and we'll be back soon someday. God bless. Jimmy cool. and Lizzie. Maybe we'll experience some haunted adventures here. And we can write them down in the journal. I'm just kidding. I don't know if this place is haunted, but... I have had things follow me from different places and I did come from a pretty haunted spot the other night. Roland and I investigated this. It was called 666 Road. It has some haunted tales on a bridge there. They did say that they just emptied out the water. What? That oh. crow just flew on. But they just emptied out the water and refilled it and they, it's going to take another like a couple hours before the jacuzzi gets warm. This is awesome. Look at that. It's like up on a cliff. Amazing. There's nobody out here too. We could go like skinny dipping in the jacuzzi and no one would know. Are there cameras out here? I hope not. No. I would totally live in here. This is like a, it's like a tiny house. Kind of like a tiny house. And it's all you need right here. Couple for two, like you got your living room, kitchen, bed, like everything's right here. This is great. You know what too? Like I could totally see like if the kids came here too. I mean we would have zero privacy, which kind of our life anyways. <laughs> but I mean like they could just crash on the couch. We could have like some air mattresses. Call it a day. Yes, there's room for you too. Yeah. Sadly we 
did have to leave V in the house while we, because you know, there's a lot of places that we can't take V into. As much as we would like to, we can't. You know, like a restaurant, things like that. I suppose we could order some takeout, but there are some places that we would like to go to. So V's chilling in there, just fed, just fed V. While we were leaving, she read a note on the refrigerator and she's freaking out about it right now. I'm not freaking out, I'm just trying to prepare myself for what's to come if it happens. What, what, what exactly is it? So, being in the wilderness, you know, of course, you're gonna run into your fair share of insects. However, I didn't expect to run into scorpions, and that's a high possibility. Dangerous, deadly scorpions. <laughs> They're not deadly. One sting and you're gone. Well, it did say that their sting is associated to like the like a bee sting. So, she's allergic to bees. <laughs> if I happen to get bit by a scorpion, I'm gonna be freaking out because I'm not gonna know if it's a bee or if it was a scorpion. So then I'm just gonna be like preparing for my untimely death. We need to get her an EpiPen like ASAP. If anybody's out there and wants to donate an <laughs> EpiPen, she needs one. What are you even getting EpiPen? You get it from the doc. I think you can even get it from like local stores and stuff. Really? I've never seen one like at Walgreens or CVS. I think you gotta get them from like the pharmacy or something. I'm gonna show you how our hike was. I should have filmed it because we were both kind of freaking out. We're at the tippity top of a mountain right now. So this this was fun. And there's no guardrails. I mean, look look over there. There's no guardrails over there. You wanna talk about a bee sting. These are cute little cabins over here. Not as cute as ours. Ours is cute. Ooh. Whoa. Oh my gosh, we have to go down now the hills that we came up. Yep. This is nothing right here. Wait till you see these really steep. Well, they'll be declines instead of inclines. I wonder if any cars have tumbled down the, the mountains. <gasps> like maybe during a snowstorm. I felt like or something. a car was going to flip backwards. Wow, what a fun looking driveway. <laughs> Psych. Look at this. At least they have a guardrail over here. Car's hauling butter on this corner, coming the other way. I know this doesn't look that bad on camera. I guess you would have to experience it in person. I'm riding the breakdown. Yeah. This would be such a fun bicycle ride. Oh, look at the houses! Like they're like houses at the tippity top of the mountains. You said houses. Houses. There's mouses at the tippity top. They, they do have a little little mirror right there to look around at this little <laughs> whoa yeah this was a lot of fun let's see look at that it is super busy here in Pigeon Forge Tennessee you can see over there that's where James and I and Glenn we made a video in there at the Hollywood Wax Museum we actually did some live streams in there too as they say it's haunted there is a line all the way outside to the parking lot to get in this is insane how many people are out here and one thing that I find a little shocking too is no one is wearing masks out here like we have our masks are some people on? some people I don't see anybody with masks on and we even asked one of the hotel workers. They said that during the whole COVID thing here in Pigeon Forge, Tennessee, like nothing shut down. Like in Florida, like Orlando, this is very comparable to Orlando, Florida, like as far as the, the tourist attractions and stuff. I mean, I showed you Orlando a few weeks back and it was just dead. I mean, all our parks are closed. I mean, there's, there's people everywhere. It's like everyone's on vacation and has the money for, how does everybody have money right now to be on vacation? Like, this is insane. I mean, I barely got money right now. And now we're not saying that Pigeon Forge didn't shut down. We were just told that. So let's get that. Yeah, we were Disney told days. that. Every one of these cars are from different places. Mm -hmm. I mean. Kentucky, Wisconsin. That's, that's a, a Tennessee. Yeah, that's a Tennessee plate. Georgia. That's a Kentucky plate. Georgia. Uh, West Virginia. We've seen an Ohio plate. Everybody's from a different place. As many times I've been out here. Alabama. I've never, I mean, it's it's busy. It gets busy out here in Pigeon Forge, but it, this is like, this is insane. Yeah. Georgia. We could barely find a place to eat a little bit ago. Oh, that car in front of us is a Wisconsin plate. Wisconsin, Ohio, Arkansas. Up there is Nevada. 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 Yeah, Nevada. Nevada. There's no, Florida. Don't say Nevada. It's Nevada, my bad. <laughs> and the hotels are very expensive, especially on the weekends out here. If you're going to come to Pigeon Forge, Tennessee, and... Gatlinburg. I would suggest coming on the weekdays 
and don't come in the summer and don't come around Christmas. Definitely come after, you know, maybe in the fall. It's probably really pretty. Uh, I mean, not, not everybody gets the chance to, to do that, and I understand that. And, but, I mean, I know that some of you out there have the chance to take off of work on at different times. I know there's a lot of kids being homeschooled nowadays. Try to come out to tourist destinations when, when everybody else is not, because you'll save some money. And you'll save the hassle of being stuck in traffic. You won't have to wait in line as long as some of these places. I went there to that Magic Quest. Mm -hmm. I think I vlogged it too with the kids. It's it's really cool. So no social distancing. <laughs> Look, no masks. No masks. Oh well, they have masks. Like one people. One people. Yeah, one people. <laughs> have masks on. And it's insane. It's like so busy out here. How the Corona numbers out here. I tried Googling it earlier. Just to give you an idea of how busy it is out here, and we're in Gatlinburg now, which is just a little bit past Pigeon Forge. It's kind of the same area. My cell phone reception shows that I have three bars, and it doesn't work. Like, we had to get directions to our cabin a little bit ago. She had to pull into a hotel and ask for their Wi-Fi code because we didn't have, we didn't have any internet. It's like the internet is being, what's the word? It's being sucked. Like when we went to Playlist. It happened in Orlando, yeah, yeah. There was so many people. There's so many people using the internet that it's like, like look at this. this there's is so crazy. many people out here. It's like we in New York. Whoa. So here's the cases in Gatlinburg. Look at that, it just keeps going up. Gatlinburg? Yeah, whoa. Guess where we're not going to be walking? Look at this. This is crazy. Yeah, there's Easy. people everywhere. I feel like we in New York City. No, this is not. New York City at least was smart and shut down. No, I'm talking about how busy it is. Like they're wearing masks. Yeah, That's some smart. people wearing masks. Ooh, they have a Ripley's Marvelous Mirror Maze. We should just walk through with our sanitized spray and just be spraying everybody when we're walking. <laughs> if we get out and go anywhere. All right. Yeah, look at this. This is June 20th. As of June 24th, there were all these, like, see all these new cases? It just keeps going up. Go. That's insane. Yeah. I mean, here's why. Yep. Here's why right here. I want to put my mask on in the car right now. I don't want no coronies. We can explore from the car. Yeah, that's what we're doing. You see like maybe one in a hundred <laughs> people wearing a mask. Not very many. We just seen a family, the whole family had on a mask except for their teenage daughter. Like their little, she was like, what? 11 like no she's like 12. why are we mask judging nowadays if you get a chance to come up to gatlinburg tennessee and pigeon forge definitely recommend doing so it's so cool there's so much to see out here that lady just hit her kid on the back didn't hit him on the butt hit him on the back like smacked him on the back but uh yeah it's it's very nice here it's probably going to be a lot busier though on the weekends like i mentioned i'm hoping we can come out like during the week maybe it's not this busy i mean there golly I can't believe how many people are out here. <laughs> he pulled his mask down to eat his chicken leg. Hey. <laughs> there are a few people out here with masks on, but like I don't want to get out. You got this many people out, like it's not even fun. Oh wow, look up there. Is that a golf course up there? I don't know. That's so cool. I can't remember this being that this busy even the last time I went. It was cold though. It was like in January when I came out. Look at this sky lift. I went on that sky lift with the kids. And it goes all the way up that mountain. All the way up. Look at that. That is crazy. You think they're wiping down them skylifts? I seriously doubt it. Whoa, cool. We should build a house like that. <laughs> that would be so Imagine in my HOA, they, they would love me. <laughs> I mean, that's awesome. Look at all the bears up there. Oh, look at the little doggy. Where? Right there on the crosswalk. They do have a place up there. It's called Old Old Smoky. Mm -hmm. And you can get free moonshine there. Want some free moonshine? With some coronies on it? <laughs> the way that moonshine is, I'm sure it's killing all the coronies. All right. I wanted to get out and walk, but this is just insane. This is ridiculous. Yeah. Oh, cool. Well, look at that thingy up there. It's like a Batmobile. Yeah. What oh, is the Batmobile? This reminds me of Orlando, but of course, but less people. Whoa. Imagine the views 
up in those cabins. This is cool. So we're at the tippity top of the mountain right now. This is also known as Ober Gatlinburg. I don't know if you could see that right there. It's like a a bus or something that it, it's, like, it's like a shuttle goes down the mountain we were down there a little bit ago people go skiing and stuff on this mountain pretty cool i think those are ski lifts over there that's what it looks like not as many people up here but it's cool they have like an ice skating ring let me show you what it looks like in the winter time look at that those are the ski lifts this is what i've always wanted to do when i came to visit but it was it was really packed you can go tubing like down the hill and that's that bus I was telling you about. I don't know if you want to call it. What do you call those? Like an air train? <laughs> I don't know. It's not, a, it's not air. A monorail, maybe? Have you ever had one of those on? Um. You get your name and it tells you like everything about it. Yeah. Long time ago. That's cool. Check out the ice skating ring. I remember my kids being on the ice skating ring. We just watched some guy wipe out. Actually, people keep wiping out left and right. Dude right over there wiped out hard. But this place is cool. It's got a couple little shops. What I like most about it is there's barely anybody up here. So it's cool. We've never been where we're at right now. This is a puzzle store. Oh, it's so colorful. That is. Now Tiffany's about to finish up her, what, how many puzzles? 2,000? How long did it take you? Two months. I think <laughs> we do things. Like, oh, I like that one. Oh. I, I think you should up the ante and do a 5,000. Do they have a 5,000 piece puzzle? I am not trying to like, have my entire life on a <laughs> I just asked the worker here what your biggest puzzle is. And look at this. That's not clickbait. 51,000 pieces. Wow. Look how big this box is. It's, oh. But you know what's what? crazy? Looking at how the colors and stuff are, I feel like this one would be easier to do than the one that I'm doing now. Yeah, but you're doing, I think, all of this, right? Yeah. Oh, no. Want to do it? Want to do it? No. Yeah? No? Look at this one. This one's 1800 18000 $1,860. That's insane. Look at that one. I was That's not bad. That one went That's a lot of different, similar, well, mm -hmm. a lot of similar pieces, you would think. This is my style right here. I'll do the LL Ama. 100 piece, 100 piece puzzle. We're good with that. Oh, even better. This is a puzzle I can do. Got you a really easy puzzle. <laughs> you can color it yourself. <laughs> look, it's the 80s. Cool. See, look at all these. Pop culture. This is a neat store. It's so cool. Like these are cool puzzles. Oh, they I'm probably got a, they probably got a bucks one that I will probably not put together. So I'm trying to get Tiffany to go on this here sky lift with me. She's a little, little, Look, she's a little scared. I love roller coasters, but that is not enough for me. <laughs> I mean, this goes, let me just show you. Oh, sorry. It goes all the way up the mountain. That's about two miles up. I say it takes about 15 miles just to hike up that mountain, which would take forever. And you're doing it within what, like a half hour? Sanitizing. They're not sanitizing. No. Okay. No thanks. No excuses. No excuses. <laughs> I got you. Want to do it? Want to do it? No. You're really gonna make me do it, aren't you? Yeah. Come on, it'd be so nice. So Tiffany was down to go on the whatever you call this ski lift or mountain lift, and then I got scared. I'm scared. That, that's high up. It's one of my biggest fears. It's high. And you're just on that little thing right there. You want to go? Where are you little, little kids going? And look, what, to make it all, they literally just let people go in and yeah. there. Honestly though, it's like, it's probably got coronies on it. I think that's what I'm afraid of the most yeah. though. Look, the thing doesn't even lock. It literally just pulls down. <laughs> yeah. Let's see if they sanitize after these people get off. Look, here it comes. See, look, they just got off. Uh-huh. There it goes. Yep, they didn't wipe it down. See, it's places like this is why I think the virus is 
going up to high in our state because they come here, everybody mingles and then they go home. And then they mingle at home. I want to put some hand sanitizer on there. Maybe even bathe in it. By the way, we bought some puzzles. We got this. It's like a donut puzzle. So I didn't. We didn't buy puzzles. We bought puzzle. <laughs> and then we bought this. It's like to roll up the puzzle, which I wish we would have had for the other puzzle. Yeah, because it's like totally taking up the dining room table. Yeah, we can't even use our dining room table. <laughs> so we we finally changed our minds and decided to go on the lift. But then it started raining. So that's another excuse we have right now. <laughs> Look, she's down too. All right? the reasons on why we shouldn't get on. Guy did say too that this is a bad day to go on because when it's clear out, you can see more of the mountains, and right now you can't. So. I was just showing that I have hair. I'm not bald. No way! That looks like so much fun. They're like go karts in the ice. Whoa, cool! It's a triangle house. Dang. You can hear like a little waterfall. So you gotta walk all. I'll look them stairs to get to your cabin. Oh yeah. Imagine during a snowstorm. Mm -hmm. Gallenberg is very pretty. Woo, look at that driveway. Whoa. What if your driveway had ice on it? You wouldn't be going anywhere except for backwards. <laughs> Yo, I've never seen a bear out right here. There. Whoa. He's right there. Look. Let me see your camera. I see him. Oh, you got him? Yep. Yo. That's so cool. You see him? I've never seen a bear out in the wild. Look at that. How cute. Whoa. Who likes social distancing? None of these people do. Look, nobody's wearing masks. This nope. is, it's so mind blowing to me. Nope, this is gonna make some people mad that are watching. It makes me mad, to be honest. Like, I would not be out here. I know some people might be like, oh, well, you are out here. No, I'm not. Like, you know how bad I want to go into these really cool shops and all these cool places. I want to go bad, but I can't because I don't want to get cronies. Like, I really feel like a lot of these people just don't care that there's a pandemic going on right now. Like, being out here is one thing. Like, you have to, at some point, like, get back to normal life. But wear your masks and your hand sanitizer and no, nobody's social distance. Out here. No, like, er look at this. Like, everybody is just balled in together. Yep. Just nothing no six feet apart no one's given hey, look at all these people waiting at the crosswalk you know i mean i get it people want to the world has to open it has to go on at some point again but be these guys got masks on cautious like they, nobody cares look they're stuck oh my god they're oh wow the people on the, the ski lift of them. Ah! well they're probably it's probably because they're getting people on but it takes a minute hi sweet baby hi sweet baby this. What if she got out of the, the road? <laughs> v was sleeping. We felt so bad leaving V behind. Come here. Over 125,000 deaths in the United States. You want to walk? Come on, you go walk around. Whoop, we're just sliding around. <laughs> Hi, little V. How are you doing? Come here. Come here, baby. Where are you going? Are you gonna go caca? Oh, and V just did caca. No. I was kidding. Where are you going? Give me a kiss. Hi, sweet baby. <laughs> what a pretty baby bird. Oh, daddy missed you so much. I was just thinking about you the whole time. I wish I could take V everywhere. I mean, you know what? When we go on road trips, V's gonna come with us all the time. Even when V's not a baby. Because V needs to be fed every couple hours. Are you hungry? Yeah? You're getting old now. You need to start eating on your own. You are a spoiled bird. I swear, it's like we're trying to break her from the bottle. It's, it's like breaking an infant from the bottle. That's exactly what it's like. I don't recommend anybody doing what I'm about to do right now. And that is fly a drone with all these trees around. You have to be a very good drone pilot to navigate through that. Because if you go straight up, you're going to end up in those trees right there and you're going to lose a very expensive piece of equipment. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to slowly navigate through. I'm thinking right there is a nice opening right there. I have done it before. It is a little scary 
Once you get straight up though, you're fine. Just gotta be careful around that. So I'm dying to see what it looks like above where we're at right now to see how high we are up like from civilization because we're we're high up a mountain right now so let's do this